Yeah. Attention everybody, I'm about to make a movie I'm about to gather up all of these hoes Juice them and make me a smoothie Motherfucking trap music Hey yo, welcome back to my channel Eddie Jarrell Jones with an X on the end Now We are officially in Vlogmas Bitch it's Vlogmas. And you want to know the thing about Vlogmas this year? I'm gagging because it's officially been a year of COVID. It's been a year of COVID. Let's give COVID a round of applause. Yes, bitch, you have overstayed your welcome. So we are in Vlogmas. I'm gagging. This is going to be a very um, interesting Vlogmas. And I'm very excited to see like other vloggers vlogs because I want to see what the people are doing um, in the house during the pandemic or maybe outside, hopefully safely. Um, but it's going to be 25 days of the same shit. So, well, hopefully not. I mean, I pretty, I have a pretty interesting life even in, the, mm, I have a pretty interesting life even inside the house. But, um, I do get out. I do get out in the pandemic. Me and, me and Miss Corona, we do bump shoulders. I don't, I don't, I don't mess with her. But, um, I do be outside. So, hopefully this Vlogmas, we can, you know, make shit shake. So, I am just about to wash these dishes. I have a one o'clock meeting in 12 minutes. Make sure. Yeah, I have a one o'clock in 12 minutes. So I am going to wash these just as really quickly and fix me some breakfast. Supposed to send it at 9.45 this morning. Hi, this is Eddie. May I speak to Kimberly? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Of course. Right. <laughs> yes, I love this. I think that this is going to be the great, uh, the start of a great relationship. Gotcha. Okay, work out. That's amazing. Yeah. You too, bye-bye. Cute meeting. Um, one day I'm gonna do that and I'm not gonna really be off the phone. I need to call my mom. But yeah, that meeting was great, so. So now I actually kind of have a bit of free time to do some editing. I'm going to call my mom eventually. I need to get into my laptop first. Oh wait, I don't know. Did I tell you all later though I have an interview with Mac? I am going to be a Mac employee, a Mac makeup artist. Girl, don't fuck with me. What's good? I just have to slay my interview. So they sent me over like this um, like attachment that basically has a lot of procedures that are like new because of COVID, so I have to go over that. Hey y'all, so it's like 4.15 and I'm about to start getting ready for my interview. So I'm gonna just do like a little light beat, very simple, just smooth out my face, probably throw on a lash, and that's just about it. So that's what we're about to do. That's what we're about to do. Keeping it cute and simple. Hey, you
So I just washed my face. I'm about to change at least clothes. So this is, uh, no, this is not what I interviewed for. I mean, this is not what I interviewed in. Oh my God, no, I had a shirt on over it. This was my under shirt. You can only see the sleeves. So don't think that I was just out here free nipple in my interview trying to get the bag like that. Although there's nothing against that. Get the bag, bitch, get your bag. But my interview went very, 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 very well. Um, it was a virtual interview, so this is my second virtual interview. My next interview is in person. It's on Thursday. I'm very proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for having this patience. You just gotta stick it out this last little bit. And my interview will be on Thursday, so... Thursday at 10 a.m. and it's like 15 minutes from Mermaid's house. So the fact that I've been staying out here due to the pandemic, it works out because it's like, oh, I don't have to travel all the way to Brooklyn, even though they were gonna put me in a Brooklyn location. They actually have one that's like 15 minutes. My commute was gonna be basically two hours and now it just went down to 15 minutes. So this is, this is what people mean when they say, be patient, God got you, the universe is aligning your your steps and your journey so just be patient bitch just be patient it will work out yeah so now i'm just about to put back on this shirt i had on earlier get y'all saw me in Ooh. it's always a tea trying to get out of these mm. mesh tops because i don't be wanting to rip it i already ripped the the little hole that your head goes through, but I, I'm a seamstress, so I sewed it back together. So that was great. Oh my God. What's going on? Um, that was great. Now, I'm about to go upstairs and chill with Mermaid. And yeah, just enjoy the rest of my evening. This isn't dirty. I just had it on for a few seconds. I just had it on since, what, 5 o'clock? It's 9 o'clock, but I've just been sitting down in the same spot. I was waiting. They said that they were going to do my my second interview with the store manager tonight. Like, they were just going to do a FaceTime, but I guess the store manager probably wants to meet me more so in person. I'm more so, like, super, super, super excited because I just feel like I haven't been working since the pain. I was laid off from the floor project. Um, I was a social media manager, and I was laid off. My job, like, right before that, I literally went from being a wireless consultant at Go Wireless to working as an account manager and social media manager at the Fluid Project to being completely laid off for, let's see, it's laid off on March 6th, so we'll just say all of March, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, because today's December 1st, so... Literally nine months I've been without work and it's been like such a mental struggle. I've still been freelancing. I've still been, I've still been um, producing. I produced a whole uh, a season of an after show called Legendary Breakdown. For those of you that know, those of you that may not know, I hosted and produced the after show for HBO Max's Legendary, their ballroom competition show. I hosted the after show. So Every evening after the show would air during the day, I would interview a few of the cast members from the show and talk about that episode and things going on in their lives and things going on in ballroom. So um, that was intense. That was that was from May to like sometime in July. So that took up a lot of my quarantine time, a good three months, the pre-production, the production, and then making sure we had content in post. And then... I worked on a few different voter campaigns, which had me like doing live events. When the when the pandemic first started, I was working with itswig.com and I was doing like Instagram lives on their lives. So I've been working. I've had a few shoots as we've kind of gotten further out from the first wave of COVID. But now that we're in the second wave, who knows what's going to happen? And I have a lot of things up in the air um, as we approach this second wave of COVID. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how everything goes. But I'm just happy that a job called me back and was like, girl, you can come here and get some coins if you want to. And it's in beauty and makeup. So that's going to be a breeze. So I'm excited about that. I'm hype about that. And right now at 9 o'clock, I'm going to go upstairs and see what my sister is doing. 
And we probably just gonna chill and watch TV and eat some lasagna later, so. I'ma talk to you hoes and it'll be you. It's good. It's flawed, Miss Bitch.